Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, happy Sunday. And today I want to go over Lab 3. So Lab 3 is basically, we're going to do group policy. If you watched my two other videos, I go over how to install Server 2016 and how to install Exchange 365 inside of Server 2016. The second video, I go over how to add a computer to a domain and creating a user account. Today we're going to go over group policy. Not a lot, not too much, not too little, just enough for you to understand what it does and how it works and why you should know it if you're doing help desk or IT support. Um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, I'll do IT videos, I'll do desktop support videos, it's about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live because I do go live here and there and I do hands-on training when I go live. We do a bunch of different things. It's kind of fun, actually. So come join me when you, when you, you know, when, you, when I go live, just come join me. Don't, don't be afraid to join me. So anyway, so let me... Let me share my screen with you real quick. So I'm gonna show you what group policy is and you need to understand this. This is super duper important. And um, I just wanna go over it, the definition of it first and stuff like that. So group policy. Uh, group policy is a Windows feature that contains a variety of advanced settings, particularly for network administrators. However, local group policy could be used to adjust settings on a single computer. And then, so basically group policy allows you to change settings on a computer or on a user level, depending on how you set it up, depends on what company you're working for. You might have access to it, you may not have access to it. So it's, it's super important you know what it is though. And I'm gonna show you what you should care about if you're doing group policy in your job and you, you have access to it, what you should care about. Just remember that group policy is linked to OU, group policy is linked to domain, group policy is linked to site and local group policy. Um, that sounds really complicated. Don't worry about the definition. Don't worry about this. I want to show you all you, this is all you should care about. If you're doing desktop support, help desk. Literally all you care about is this. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to put this on my other screen and I'm going to, I'm going to close this out. So literally all you care about, if you're doing group policy, if you're doing IT support or help desk and you have access to it, this is all you care about. And I'm, sure, I'm going to show you what, what you should care about. Um, go into your server, go to server manager. So obviously we created the server already. So you already know we did that. So click on server manager, um, go to tools, uh, and go to group policy management. All you literally got to, all you literally care about for this, for this video is, is, is two things. Just remember, take this from my video, two things. One is if you have access to group policy, open it up and then hit settings. And I'm going to hit add for this hit settings. This is all you care about. All you care about is this. All you care about is this. If you have access to group policy, this is all you care about. If you're doing level one, password history, password age, password length, how long the password is good for before the person gets locked out. How long is the password good for? How many months is good for? And how long they could get, how long, how many times they have to do use a password until you get locked out of their account and stuff like that. This is, that's all you care about. If you're doing level one, just remember that. So that's the first thing you should care about. The second thing you should care about is security groups. So if you're, if you're new to IT or you're doing help desk or IT support, you care about security groups. So you will go into your server manager, you go into tools, you go into users and computers, literally. And a lot of these people that create these, a lot, of the, a lot of the companies or a lot of people that do server admin or level two or whatever, they usually have security groups for group policy. So they will have something like, I'll give you a hypothetical example. You would just right click on the, on the, users tag and they have a group and it's going to be called like like uh, uh gpo gpo and then gpo disable or something like that or it's going to say like like usb disable or something like that and you hit okay and then literally what they will have in the group it, it like they will have literally in this they'll have a description that says this this disables task manager and then you know you hit apply and then it has a name it has a description on it and then the person that that ha inherits that group policy would be added to this group. Like literally, they would add the person into it, and then now that person can't can access Task Manager. So that this is a hypothetical example. This is something that you will see in level one. Um, just adding people to groups, removing them, adding them, removing them, adding them, uh, and you'll you'll be with other admins, other other um. I say other admins. You'll be with other level two people or level one. Like just add them to to this group, uh, and they're good to go. Just add them to that group and they're good to go. Just remove them from this group that, that they're, they're trying to do control delete. It doesn't work. Just remove them from control delete group and they're good to go. So just remember that. that that's, all, that's all we care about. So 
Um, I'm going to delete this. And today is going to be very, very simple. Um, I logged in as Janet Smith already, if you see right over here. And I disabled Task Manager. I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm going to show you how, why is that happening for her? Why she, she logged in literally and it, it's not, you know, she can't do anything on Task Manager. Why it doesn't work? So I logged in as Janet Smith right over here. I'm going to log off for the sake of this video. I'm going to log off and sign back in as Janet Smith. And I'm going to show you what I did. So literally, I disabled Task Manager for her just now um, behind the scenes, obviously. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to log in with password123, capital P, password123. If you right click on the bottom, Task Manager is grayed out. I'm clicking on it, it doesn't even work. You can't do anything. And if you do control delete, task manager is not even there. Kind of cool, right? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So she can't do task, she can't use task manager. And there's like so many things you could do on a GPO level that's scary. Um, I don't want to get you guys, I don't want to confuse you guys, but I want to show you how I did it. It's just a simple video on group policy. I don't want to confuse everyone. So literally what I did was I went into my my uh, GPO. Uh, GPO object right over here, GPO group policy management. And literally what I did was I went under, I went KevTech, I went under KevTech and there's this thing called domain policy, which is what I, which is what I went over, literally what I went over. I right clicked on it. I hit edit and I edited it. I edited this to, to disable, um, the task manager. How do you do that? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you could remember group policy. You could do it on a computer level or on the user level. So basically I could grab, uh, sorry about that. Basically I could literally grab, um, a computer and do GPO on a computer. I could literally grab a user account like Janet Smith and do it on Janet Smith. So it depends how you have it set up in your environment. Some companies will give you access to group policy. Some companies will not I'm just letting you know right now, it depends on the company you work for. For today's video, literally what we're gonna do is disable task manager and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna go into policies, um, window settings, um, administration tools, system. See where it says control delete? This is how I did it. I went into control delete and it says remove task manager, double clicked on it, it's enabled. And literally group policy, it tells you what they do, what, 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 what each thing that you're trying to do, what it does and how it works. So this is, if you enable this policy, users will not be able to access task manager. If the user tries, tries to start task manager, it, it, not, it will appear that it's being blocked. So obviously if I wanted to enable it or disable it or not configure it, I just click on that um, and I hit okay. And then I right click over here and it's still not gonna work. So literally what we do is you sign out. And this is, this is, how, you, this is, how, you, this is how you play, this is how you learn in IT. This is how you learn. You play around with stuff, you break stuff, you play around with stuff. It's, it's very, it's fun. It's fun actually. So you do break stuff, it breaks, fix stuff, break stuff, breaks, you know, just fix stuff, break stuff. So when you right click on it, now it works now. See, it works now. I logged off and logged back in, now it works now. And then if I wanna, I can remove a bunch of stuff. So let me do um, enable this pad. They, they use the Nessie log off button. So I'm going to enable that. I'm going to enable um, task manager and uh, I'm going to log off and log back in again. So does it work? If you do GP update force, does it take the policy? Let's find out. Let's just for the sake of this video, let's just test it. So I'm going to do GP update force. Uh, I'm going to let the policies push in. So I literally, I removed the log off button and I removed task manager. Let's see if it works. So let's see if it, if it immediately grabs the information from, from, from the old you, the domain controller. So it does, look at that. I don't even gotta log off and log back in, look at that. Look at that, I can't even do anything. And can I log off? Can I sign out? It says remove log off button, let me see. Let me see if I do control alt delete. Oh, sign out is not there anymore. Oh, wow. But it's still here. It's right here. Interesting. Yeah. So that actually works. If you run GP update force, that actually works. So now if you want to go more into depth with GP updates and stuff like that, there is this thing called GP update information. So you could, there's a lot of commands you could run, by the way. GP update. CMD GP mode. 
you can run a lot of there's a lot of different commands you can run so um there's gp update result you know this thing is gp gp result gp result and you do gp result slash r and it'll tell you what the policies are for for this object or this computer which is kind of cool so you can you can run a bunch of commands here and it tells you right there like literally it tells you right there like if you if you want to get more information you can obviously if you're new to tech or it i always tell people to type gp gp update slash help or gp update slash help like this see if it lets me do it probably not um to say it, it gives you the help right there like if you do this you do question mark it tells you what everything does so if you if you if you're new to it and you need help if you need help with command lines and stuff like that it literally you type help or you type question mark and it gives you more results same thing with, with ip config so if you do ip config you do help for example it tells you what it is and it tells you what each command does um if you do um another example we do is i think it's ping help um not ping help sorry ping ping slash help right there there we go and it tells you like it give, it tells you literally tells you everything right there in your face and what each thing does so if you ever get lost or something like that with the cmd if you have access to cmds remember some companies may not have access to this and you could just run you know those up those those things all you care about as an it person if you take anything from this video is gp update gp update force so you care about is gp update force because you're pushing out policies for a computer or a user all you care about is gp update force that's literally all you care about as an as a newbie in it if you have access to cmd and if you can run cmd commands and you want to know if the command if the security groups are working you run gp update result that's all you care about gp update result so those two commands gp update re, um result and um that's it so gp update gp uh, gp result um slash r those two commands all those are the only two commands you care about gp update res, uh, result the gp result slash r and gp update force those are the only two commands you care about and the security groups like i went over so if you go to users and computers and you, you add them to a group and stuff like that, that's all you care about if you're doing group policy so this is just one video on doing task manager you saw how i disabled it obviously you could get more complicated with it create another ou so you literally you could go into um here and or actually uses the computers and then right click on it and hit new and then hit OU or organization unit and make a new organization unit and actually put it in there. You could do that. A lot of companies do that. So by the way, a lot of companies, so a lot of company will have like HR, for example, and then you hit okay. And then a bunch of users are on this. And then you go into here and you go into organization. You have a company, you have a department called legal and they're probably a bunch of people in this group and then you have another one which is called it and it's called um it and then you know you you have a bunch of different ones and then you just drag and drop the computer in there or you drag and drop the user in there that's all you care about if you're doing level one if you have access to do it so that's it if you take anything from this video this is how you disable task manager running cmd commands and adding people to security groups that's all you care about. So when they ask for it, level one support, if you know how to do it, now you could say you know how to do it after watching this video. I hope I hope you could say that, you know? And if you need me to explain it even, even more in detail, let me know. But this is basically level, uh, level one GPO updates, GPO policies, and CMD commands, all right? And that's it. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I hope this video helps you out in some shape or form. Um, that's how you run GP. That's how you run a group policy on a local on a local level on a VM, if that makes sense. So if you want to do if you want to do what I just did, you just play around with it. Just follow my video, follow along on that video. And if you want to break it or add more stuff to it or add all the real use, you can. We could do that. If you want me to do a live video with me with me going over group policy more, let me know. I'd, I'll be more than happy to do that. But this is just like group policy 101 for new techs. All right. 
Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys have a great day. All right. Take care. Peace. Later.